I really want to learn about girls and keeping girls in school because we know from all the evidence that the more educated girls are, the older they get married, the more economic power they have, the more equality you get between the sexes. And so it was really interesting to talk to them for things, something really like as simple as um, sanitary towels, pads they call that here. You know, that means that girls can go to school without worrying that they're going to end up with blood all over their skirt, which makes them feel ashamed. You know, it's, it means that they can actually, they don't miss school because they've got sanitary towels. So that kind of stuff was really interesting. It was also interesting to talk to the head teachers and the directors of the schools about what they do to keep schools and go, um, to keep girls in school so they don't get married too early. One of the heads said, you know, they worry about having between 15 and 20 girls over a long break end up leaving and, and getting married or getting pregnant. But there are things that they're doing there as well. So for example, we talked to a couple of students who'd had babies and they'd been allowed to come back. One of them goes home at lunchtime where she lives in the nearby village to breastfeed. And that's really changed things because in other places, you know, those girls might end up, their families might reject them, they might end up having to leave the schools and then they're in a really difficult position about how they provide for themselves and their children. But if they can stay on and finish their education, you know, the quality of jobs they'll be able to get is much better.